am here with the founder of the African Comedians, Foxy P himself. He has dropped by, and I'm so excited that you did. And I thank you. I'm, I'm, Man. I'm, I'm, I'm blown away. I, I'm blown away. This is crazy. I'm like, whoa. Hi, mommy. I made it. <laughs> I made it. You have made it. Can you please share with us how you made it? This this is absolutely amazing. I mean, I, I don't know if you guys are going to catch like the, what's going on back behind us, but this is the culmination of like dreams and goals and prayers coming together. We have a show today with 14 comedians from Africa, young comedians, all from like social media. Yes. You have people who nobody would ever have them open for them in a comedy or open as on a comedy show because they're like, oh, he's just an Instagram comedian. Ooh. He's just a Twitter comedian. You know, it's like there's levels now. Right. And the idea came up like, you know, there's a whole bunch of us on social media. Yeah, and you're a Twitter comedian, Instagram comedian. What is that? Wow. What would happen if you come up on stage and do a show where there is no big name headliner? Yes. There is no Michael Blackson. Oh. There is no Basket Mouth. Right. It is you. It is you. You, the Instagram comedian. Right. You're now on stage telling jokes. Right. You're not an Instagram comedian anymore. <laughs> you're a stand up comedian. You're a stand up. In your own right. You know? And the dynamics have changed yes. with social media. Mm -hmm. Before you had to, you know, do the open mic circuit for a whole bunch of years. Somebody taking under their wing. Luckily, you do like, you know, Def Comedy Jam or something, and boom, you come up. But now on social media, you have kids who are so funny in less than a year, mm -hmm. they have 1.2 million followers. Yeah. Across the board, with the team that we have today for the African Prince of Comedy Show. Millions. It's, yeah, we're, we're almost like 1.8 million yeah. followers. And I'm talking about just Instagram alone. And we call it the African Princes of Comedy because the next king of comedy is going to be crowned from here. Oof. This is our Deaf Comedy Jam. This is our Apollo. This is the beginning. It has to happen. There's nobody else. Yes. This is it. So it's I feel like I'm in church. I'm like, yes, two steps, <laughs> hallelujah. I don't even know where to like. <laughs> no, I, 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 no. I, I feel sometimes like I'm a pastor. Like my mom, is, she's a reverend. So she's like, you're going to be a pastor someday. God is going to arrest you one day. <laughs> I'm like, let me arrest you now. Yeah, so I still well, like to go out and have a good time. In some ways, you are a pastor because you mentor and sign a lot of these young comedians who we're going to see today, and they're under your wing. They're under your, you know, leadership, so to speak. So you are a pastor and you are a motivational um, figure. Like, does, is that pressure? Do you think about that? How did you? Because you are a young man yourself. Right. So how do you shift from being this young man to this leader who other young men look to? Um, I, I think, I think you know, God definitely had a lot to do with it. But I think um, also the fact that when I started doing comedy, I started off of YouTube. Mm. You know, I had a show that I was doing, like African, Africa Today Show. People can still go on there and watch Africa Today Show. It's still on there. I still do it on a weekly basis. Where I just sat in my living room and I had a camera and I'm recording myself. Sometimes I actually use like the webcam on my laptop to record this and I'm just talking about African news from a young African immigrant's perspective. Yeah. Because there's certain things going on back home that are happening that we don't know about. Mm. So I'm giving it to them. Not BBC, not CNN, mm. not, you know, Huffington Post, but actually like, you know, from my own perspective as a young African. So I was doing that and then boom, things started coming up. I started doing stand up and stuff like that. But I looked around and I found that there were other people like me coming up. There was Cliff, Clifford, Clifford yeah. Uwusu Kapashenko, mm -hmm. who's the king, the African king of YouTube. Wow. You know, this man has more views for by than any other Af young African comedian. Outside of like the Trevor Noahs and all the other guys who are yeah. doing it heavy, these guys are inspiration. Yeah. Basket Mouth and all of those guys. But if you talk about like three, four, five, six years ago, Clifford has been killing it yeah. with his dance videos and everything. So there were a few of us, and you know, it came to me. I'm like, there's a whole bunch of kids like us who are just trying to survive here in the U.S. Don't really know how to do it. Don't really know how to put it together. We're suffering all kinds of things, we're dealing with promoters who you do gigs they don't pay you yeah. stuff like that. And I was like, you know what? What if we just come together? Mm. under the umbrella of African comedians. So I started that. I lead, but I'm not the CEO. I don't have a job title. I'm a comedian just like wow. them because this is creativity you're dealing with. How do you stay humble like that in, in base level? You stay humble because you understand that talent is not yours. Oof. When the jokes come to you, it's not yours. You know, I have times when I think about a joke and just before I write it down, it goes away. So it's not mine. So that's one of the reasons why when I'm, when I'm doing my thing, 
I recognize that I, it's a higher power, that some, there's something else. Mm -hmm. So when I see talent in somebody else, I have to recognize that as well. <laughs> so it's, it, to me, it's, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. So, I don't, so the humility has to come off of the fact that I know that I'm nothing from that talent perspective. Yeah. And once you understand that, yeah. well, you're good to go. And that's why you're soaring. We're young people just trying to make it happen. Yes, and you are doing it. That's, that's what this whole thing is. So the comedians that are here on African Princes of Comedy is just based on belief, love, and understanding that we have a vision. Yes. This thing we're doing here today, I, I told them last year when we, when we first you know, we started putting everything together, when we started bringing everybody on board, I told them last year and I said, it was very straightforward, I said, just watch, within a year and a half to two years, the United Nations is going to have us go to Africa, every part of Africa where there's unrest. I mean, whether it's, you know, South Sudan, whether, you know, where it's, you know, Sierra Leone and Liberia and places that Zimbabwe. things are happening. Zimbabwe, places like that, where our young folks are, you know, because of the high rate of unemployment, yes, yes. you know, they're going through all kinds of issues. They need that they light. Wanna, they, need they need that, that light. They, they want to calm things light. down. What's the best way to do it? Humor. I'm telling you, you have a lot of people in Africa right now who, a lot of celebrities who are being appointed United Nations Peace Ambassador, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what are you doing for peace? Right. You're in a movie. Okay, thank you. Right. I can go out there and tell jokes to these people and guess what we're doing. It's and now. bring real peace and, and spread a voice and say, you can rise up in your voice and do something in your country, Come right? Come on now. It's, and that's what's going to happen. And that is what, that's what it this moment right here it's, is about. That yeah. This moment for you and for myself and for this platform is to birth that moment for me we have to we have, we have to. to we are we are i, I, yeah, just, yeah, I could I just talk to you all day no, yeah. i almost forgot i have a show <laughs> <laughs> i love it i'm so humbled that you allowed me to come and interview you and you just dropped by today thank you Yes, but I confirm your top box of being the beauty. I like your boy Chopper of Yaman, the fire of Fantain. And you're watching the Shackles Motivation Monday. Let's go there. Oh, yeah, shake body.